on August 18th of 2018, um, my son, Daniel, Danny Roberts, um, died of a heroin overdose that was laced with fentanyl. This park was Danny's. He loved this park. He played baseball here and he played football over on Sportsman's West. And um, so for five years, my husband and I were in the bleachers, Danny was on the field. And so it holds a lot of bittersweet memories for me. Danny's story um, ended tragically. It's devastating. It will be five years in August. My husband and I will never be the same. I'm only speaking on behalf of the families who have lost their loved ones, because no one should have to go through that. No one, a parents, son, daughter, no one should have to go through that. Don't do what I did. For eight years while Danny fought, and he fought, he was in and out of 14, a minimum of 14 rehabs and recoveries throughout the state of Florida. But throughout those eight years, I sat at home thinking, I am the only one. I'm the only one going through this. If we can at least open the dialogue and start talking about it in the same vein that we talk about diabetes or heart health, we need to have those conversations. So that's where Healthy You really came from. He and I had a great conversation right in my kitchen when he was in what I call remission. He was clean and sober for three years in between those eight years that he fought. And I asked him, I said, Danny, what do you think came first? the addiction or mental health. And he really thought long and hard on that one. And he said, I think the mental health, because then I started medicating after that. And that tells you it's a disease. And that's what, what you learn on in Healthy You. You'll, you'll be educated on what does the brain look like when an opioid is injected or experienced? How do the brain chemicals change? And they do. Once you understand that part of it, you understand that after that first one, there's no choice anymore. Um, it, it, it becomes the disease. These are tough topics to talk about. Um, we try to expand each year on other topics that we want to talk about, but the staples will always probably be anxiety, depression, and substance use. Yes, it might seem like it's, it's easier for me to talk about today, about Danny's death and his eight-year battle, but if it helps one, one boy, I always say one boy, say no to an opioid, even just for today, then Danny's story will have been worth it.